I got into driving. Uh, my first introduction to it was when I served in the U.S. military, and uh, I was. After that, I went and tried to do regular, real-world jobs, and I got to the point where I wasn't going anywhere, and I was given a push to drive a truck. Of course, I had to worry about my two children um, as I'm a single mom. So I started CDL school and here I am. I've been a trainer. Uh, I have been over the road. I am now dedicated and get home whenever I can. My parents look after my boys, so I do miss them quite a lot. Uh, I feel that the driving has given me a sense of freedom that only truck drivers know. As a female, I look at a lot of the other drivers as big brothers and big sisters. One of the pros about being a, a, a driver is the, the scenery that you get to see, uh, the experiences that you get to experience. The various types of people that you get to meet uh, all have interesting stories, whether they're the ones sitting at a at a table at the Petro or <laughs> or if they're just stories told around a, a truck stop gathering of drivers just talking and you have a very wide variety of them. That just gives that 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 extra little benefit of if I grew up in one town and lived there my entire life, I really wouldn't have been able to actually truly see things for myself. Uh, this is not a job, it's not a career, this is a lifestyle. And if you can't handle the lifestyle of it, there's no reason to be out. For any new driver coming directly from CDL school or even thinking about getting into the industry, you do have to have a thick skin and an open mind. Uh, there's no there's no shortcuts to being a million mile driver. There's 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 no shortcuts to achieving your dreams. Being a female out here is there are a few more challenges than the male ha men have. Uh, we have a couple extra needs that that have to be met once in a while, but. Other than that, we're just drivers.